all my overcomers. Today, I want to give you a quick reminder on how to track your progress effectively. This is your first month of making lifestyle changes and really learning a lot about the foods that you're eating and just nutrition alone. This is a much different process than just following a meal plan every single day. You are actually learning to create your own meals based around what drives results because that's what really brings long-term success. So this month allows you to just learn about your current habits, how to incorporate new habits in with your lifestyle in an effortless way. Now, this does take time and sometimes you may not figure it out on the first shot, but you are already probably just noticing that you're getting in the hang of it and things are starting to click. So tracking and measuring your progress on and off the scale is super important and tracking your progress the right way can seriously make or break results. And the scale is a measure of one part of your progress, but it's not the end all be all. Photos is also a key factor in tracking your progress, but how you feel and what you've changed to be better is a huge factor. This month you're trying new things and you're finding your rhythm and I want you to focus on all the positive things that you've changed. Notice all the small habits that you started to implement and how they made you feel. Do you have more energy? Do you have less bloat? Are you sleeping better? Do you feel less achy? Are you making better choices? These are all things that your body is telling you like, hey, whatever you're doing, keep doing it, right? And as you continue staying consistent and you keep focusing on what you can control, the weight will always follow. And this is a lifestyle change, not a quick fix. This is meant to keep with you forever. And I do want to share a quick story, but I was having a conversation with a client a few months ago and she was like, Danae, I'm kind of upset. I only lost four pounds in four weeks. So I said, what are you upset about? You lost four pounds. You should be excited. And she said, well, my friend at work is on a diet and she lost 16 pounds in four weeks. And I told her the first mistake was that she was comparing her progress to someone else's progress. But I said, Nicole, let me ask you a question. Who told you that four pounds in four weeks is a bad thing? And she said, well, I just figured it would come off faster like my friend. And I asked her, okay, well, what kind of diet is your friend doing? And she said she didn't know. So here's why I shared this story and why it's super important because diets are quick fixes and they require you to give up everything you love so you can lose weight fast, but typically not for long. So you'll lose the weight and you'll gain it right back even if it lasts a few months. And a lifestyle allows you to enjoy the foods you love, lose the weight at a sustainable rate so that you can keep the weight off long term. Any weight loss is always a victory and everyone's body is different. The worst thing you can ever do is compare your progress to someone else's because you don't have the full picture. Your weight loss is not linear. Most people think it looks like a straight line down with no hiccups and no plateaus and no stalls. But in a, re in a real, um, in reality, a sustainable plan will look more like a zigzag and that's okay because the end result is the same but it also has a permanent result. So when you're measuring and tracking your progress, I want you to measure all factors, the scale, the photos, your energy levels, your moods, your bloating, your aches, pains, and anything that you change that was for the better. And there are so many things that can cause a scale to give you a number that you're not necessarily happy with. And it's important to recognize those things. Did you get enough sleep? Are you retaining more water? Um, are you more bloated? Maybe you ate something that made you more bloated. Are you more stressed? Did you have a super intense workout the day before? You might not be fully recovered. These things can cause the scale to go up or not move and it happens because that's how our body works. The one thing you want to make sure you are not doing is weighing yourself multiple times per week because this gives you an inaccurate reading and it's really just unnecessary so focus on one time per week with your photos. So that's really all you need to focus on and just focus on doing what you can control. 
So that's it for today. Remember to track, measure your progress using all factors. Do not compare your progress to someone else's because remember, this is your lifestyle change, not a quick fix.